in evangelization we should sing such way which will be this one i don't know but i think this is quite possible for local people also to learn correct but even there are more colloquial that is there are songs uh, made by the catechists catechists and the local people so when i first was in uh, bilaspur korba raipur katni in those places <coughs> with the village in the village when i went so those days the from south india many priests and religious used to come for evangelize so those days the songs were used the malayalam songs translated into hindi the tune is still malayalam that the local people cannot see like आसमान का नीचे दूसरा नाम नहीं है ये सुनाम के सिवा वी सिंग बट दे विल नॉट सिंग दैट देन आई रियलाइज वी हैव टू पिक अप सॉन्ग्स ऑफ द लोकल पीपल माई थ्रॉट इज नॉट गुड so then i picked up a song which i like very much it is not song it is something like that <clears throat> and we should sing in their their tempo their vernacular their style their style i try to do in their style okay it will not be very pleasant to us but for them it is very good <laughs> their style yesh mere da da yesh mere ta ta uska hi main gun gata yesh mere da ta yesh mere ta ta uska hi main gun gata kaise <laughs> they like this very much they like this very much yes mere da ta yes mere ta ta uska hi main gun gata wahi hai ish putr wahi hai ish putr pyara pyara param pita ka wah nara nara वही है सबका सहारा सहारा ईश मेरे दाता ये मेरे दाता उसका की मैं गुन गाता ये मेरे दाता ये मेरे दाता उसका की मैं गुन गाता वही है ईश पुत्र प्यारा प्यारा परम पीरा कवक न्यारा न्यारा वही है सबका सहारा सहारा दाता ये सुमेरता उसका ही मैं गुण गाता वही है ईश्वर पुत्र प्यारा प्यारा परम पीरा कवक न्यारा न्यारा Oh, I really love that phrase. Param pita kavah nyara nyara. Wahi he sa, wahi he sabka sahara sahara. Now they have to. <laughs> so anyway, so our songs must must communicate. that loving relationship loving relationship now ah now shaji should come now <laughs> now what 
I was beginning to say about the Sams, Sams. So Sams are, uh, uh, yes, Sams have to be understood very, very great prayer sung or prayed by Jesus and in which Jesus' whole life is revealed, revealed. So, as an example, as an example, you can come with you. Camera, you want? So, let us try to sing Psalm 23. Psalm 23. <laughs> this was <clears throat> Psalm 23. We will, uh, we, we will sing it in Malayalam, okay? And then we can sing later in Hindi. Then I will sing two lines in Hebrew. So we should also sing the Psalms in Jesus' mother tongue. Jesus' mother tongue. Yeah. Jesus' mother tongue. So at least one or two lines when we sing Jesus and Mother Mary's mother tongue. So Psalm 23 in, in, in Hebrew, it, is, it sounds like this. <clears throat> Adonai roi lo ekshe Adonai roi lo ekshe Adonai roi Adonai the Lord Adonai roi the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want anything Adonai roi lo ekshe Now we sing that in Malayalam yes is it working? Yeah. Yes. Kartava nindidayan Yenikyondinum Kuravundavu gaila Kartava nindidayan Yenikyondinum Kuravundavu gaila Pachaya <laughs> Now here, it is not a, it is not only a prayer, it is the mystery of Christ as a good shepherd. What is the work of the good shepherd? The shepherd leads the sheep early in the morning 
to green pastures what is this green pasture and what is the still waters so all that we have to reflect green pastures is the word of god and the still waters is the holy spirit and that makes a new life for us new life and in that new life eventually even if we are in the valley of darkness that is our present situation in the world in the present situation in the world we are still in the darkness because the world is not yet fully evangelized fully holy even if you walk in the valley of death you have no fear because the lord is with us so i remember in olden days i used to sing and dance with this song in hindi which is that yesu hai sachcha gadariya hum uske bede hai hari charayo mein hame charata hai yesu hai sachcha gadariya hum mere hai hari hame charata hai kaathi pahadiyon ne le chalta hai jahan par sukh dai chal ki charana bhate hai kaathi pahadiyon मेले चलता है जहां पर हल्की झरना बहती है यीशु के सच गडरिया हम उसके बेड़े हैं हरी चराइयों में हमें चराता यस व्हाट आई वांट टू से we must use we must make you can make a melody without changing any any words now we have made all the 150 psalms uh, without making any word and that is what we are nowadays singing this must be taught children and the people and when we sing or when we sing when we pray with the psalms already saint augustine said when we sing we are praying twice but when we sing the psalms and praying then we are praying with jesus and holy spirit and mother mary so we may have so many songs written by us but the lord love this mysterious hymns of the psalms it is mysterious because in the psalms now as an example psalm 22 psalm 22 now psalm 22 is a psalm of Jesus as passion Jesus as crucifixion Jesus as crucifixion so can you imagine before 1000 years nearly 1000 years before the crucifixion or Jesus as passion the prophecy about how exactly Jesus will have to offer his life is prophesied in the sand in luke's gospel we hear jesus from the cross was crying eli eli lama sabakthani my god my god why have you forsaken me but 
it is actually Jesus was singing that Psalm 22. Every day Mother Mary and Jesus used to sing this Psalm. Every day when they used to sing and pray this Psalm, Jesus knew very well this is how I will be a sacrifice. I will become a sacrifice. In this Psalm 23, word, word 22, 22, sorry, 22, word 17, 17 and 18. Many dogs around me, a pack of evil doers closes in on me, so wasted are my hands and feet. In another way, they pierced my hand and feet. They pierced my hands and feet. You see, they pierced my hands and feet. And that I can count all my bones. They stare at me and glot. They divided my garments among them. For my clothing they cast lot. Exactly that is what happening there. So you have to imagine what was Mother Mary doing standing at the foot? Mother Mary was also praying this psalm which they used to pray. And Jesus might have explained to Mother Mary, this is how my life will be ending as a sacrifice. And that the son and the mother was praying for the whole humanity. Now, often we do not know why God abandoned him. Why Jesus said, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Why so far from my call for help, from my cries of anguish? My God, I call by day, but you do not answer. By night, but I have no relief. So, here we have to learn the interpretation of the Psalms from the Church Fathers. So, particularly Saint Augustine is the one who interpreted all the Psalms on a Christocentric way. So, Saint Augustine teaches us this cry is by the human nature of Jesus. The body hanging on the cross is the humanity, humanity, human Jesus. And that human Jesus is crying, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Now, the mystical aspect of this abandonment is to renew the humanity. This whole humanity will be abandoned like this and crucified and died and buried. And then a new humanity will raise up. A new humanity. Do you realize it? That historically, through the incarnation, passion, death and resurrection, God has already transformed the humanity. We are all belongs to that new humanity. Of course, not only us, everybody. So, every Sam has such 
very important mysterious aspect relating to the salvation plan now psalm 55 in psalm 55 betrayal betrayal so psalm 55 13 and 14 15 if an enemy had reviled me that i could bear if my foe had viewed me with contempt from that i could hide but it was you my other self my comrade and my friend you whose company i enjoyed at whose side i walked in procession in the house of god you did this to me that is about the betrayal of jesus foretold thousand years back if an enemy had reviled me that i could bear if my foe had viewed me with contempt from that i could hide but it was you my other self my comrade and my friend my friend that is why jesus called judas the last word in matthew's gospel in garden of gethsemane jesus said my friend come my friend come do what so that friend he said is referring to this sam in spite of he knew that judas is going to betray him he called him my friend you whose company i enjoyed at whose side i walked in procession in the house of god but word 17 but i will call upon you god i will call upon god and the lord will save me at dusk dawn and noon sandhyilum prabhadathilum madhyanathilum jnanavaladi pettu karayum at dusk dawn and noon i will grieve and complain and my prayer will be heard at dusk at dawn at noon that is how the three times of daily prayer began so we have in your church evening morning and noon the church bell ring that comes from here and word 23 says cast your cares upon the lord he will give you support God will never allow a righteous to stumble. Cast your burden. Ninde param katha vine elpi kuga. Avidan ninne thani kollu. So now we have to recognize this psalm written by David the first all that prophecy really happened in his life of david that his own son betrayed him wanted to kill him david had to go away from his palace barefooted with a sack cloth and ashes on his head he walked the same path through the valley of 
olive gardens abandoning everything and through the same the same pain jesus also took and now we also will go through the same pain there are times we are also experiencing this betrayal the one whom we considered very much trustworthy but we may be betrayed and that pain when we experience we must unite that with the pain of jesus and then it is a it is united with jesus and when we unite our pain with jesus then we will be united with the resurrection of jesus so we have to find out in every sam the suffering of christ passion of christ resurrection of christ second coming of christ everything is there in the sams that is why jesus said to the mouse disciples all what is written about me in the books of moses in the books of prophets and the sams must be fulfilled so sams must be understood the prayer of jesus and the life of jesus and the salvation plan of Je- given to us and that is why in the siro malabar liturgy of course in all the liturgy in latin liturgy according to the season the psalms are differing the the the, the season of the season of the resurrection there is another psalms the season of the lent another psalm season of the nativity and the psalm that is because in all the psalms the life of christ was already preeminently was prophes as a prophecy it was there that is how the liturgical seasons developed we can we should understand the liturgy already developed when the psalms written and even the book of prophets came after the psalms so many prophecies by isaiah jeremiah all that is related to the psalms okay so this is very good for our evangelization work teaching psalms and you it is even if not full psalms only two lines that is called yakula yakula means like a javelin throw javelin throw or big arrow that is called yakula so we call it yakula prayer yakulation prayer or yakula prayer means that is the prayer which we pray it will penetrate like a javelin like a javelin so as an example you have to catch one or two words only one or two sentences from the from the psalms like psalm 27 the lord is my light and my salvation whom do i fear the lord is my light and my salvation whom do i fear the lord is my life's refuge of whom i am afraid only chanting the psalms chanting it is very easy we chanting that is in our culture chanting bolo yesu naam naam bolo yesu naam bolo yesu naam naam bolo yesu naam chanting so you have to take some of the psalms 
and lead the people to chant chant it and again yeah. now since this team of liturgy came in we have to understand how important we relate our people to the liturgy what is liturgy why this liturgy came to exist so already now we got this the liturgy began from the psalms the liturgy began from the time moses was told let your people slaughter the lamb and the blood of the lamb be stamped on the doorpost and they will be freed no destroying angel coming why how what is the power of the blood of the lamb why the blood of the lamb has a power that in whosoever doorpost the blood of the lamb is stamped no destroying angel comes in so already the liturgy started that is on the validity of the passion of christ which is according to time which is going to happen after 1000 years but that passion already has power ahead to deliver the people because jesus is he is he was and he will be the same jesus's passion before it really happens before the lamb of god die for the humanity before that event take place its anointing and power is already worked in delivering his people from slavery to victory in the time of moses and god said to israelites this is how you must celebrate your passover that every year this must be your greatest feast you must remember how you are came out of the slavery to victory you must remember recognize that word when god said you must remember it is an english or <laughs> our translation the original word we have no word to express the meaning the meaning the lord wanted to express is when you remember that that exact effect will happen now as if now so in liturgy it is called anamnesis 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 means when you remember that you will experience that that victory how they were victoriously came out of the slavery when every year you remember that you will experience that victory because he already instituted such such a such a such a what should i say such a liturgy and that is renewed through jesus by the real liturgy 
that he himself will be the lamp all the earlier lamps are fulfilled in the real lamp of god jesus christ and now for evangelization it's very important that we must know i know you know it but how to teach the people not only bible not only the teaching of the church we have to teach them what exactly the liturgy means so i don't know whether you have catechism in hindi or marathi is it no so these are your task to do <laughs> at least part by part you should translate it and make it available because the people need something authentic authentic and authentic teaching we may say this is but then we will ask what is the reference for that and when you say it is written ah oh, is it written where is it written in catechism 1076 okay so they have something to hang on as a authentic teaching then only the lay people will grow you know before this is translated into malayalam i went to the cardinal and i said this catechism is not yet translated or it is not ready so shall i translate at least a portion of that and use it and make it available to the people <laughs> cardinal varki vidyarthi looked at me and he said thomas paul how you get such great ideas <laughs> and then i went to the pastoral orientation center i told the director the cardinal has given me to translate portion by portion for the use okay so if you do not do the translation faster i am going to translate the whole catechism and publish it as a commentary by thomas paul who oh, no 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 please don't do it we are already working on it then they began to run on it and it came out now maybe i will say if you don't translate it i will translate it <laughs> into hindi this is the need of the time because so much false teachings are existing false teaching how can we say that is false we will show them right you have to show them there is a right teaching by the church okay now i want to bring home this aspect of liturgy in a simple way very simple so in 1076 here is a very great expression which is called sacramental economy Now all of you have learned this in theology sacramental economy when i ask some priest they say oh that is a big subject we spend many days to learn that once i discussed with a very senior priest then i explained what i understand from the economy of salvation <laughs> he was amazed how easily you understood this so i am going to explain it you know uh as i was an engineer i have worked in petroleum refineries refineries i did constructing of high chimneys and big tanks some of the work which no one could do 
the lord made me to do so i have said okay now the point i want to bring home is in a petroleum refinery there is such a huge tank tanks to storage of the petroleum the raw material is stored one side and the final product is stored in another side but you cannot get even 1 liter of petrol from the refinery that is not allowed even to the managing director or the chairman of the refinery it is not allowed then how to distribute so that is called economy of distribution of petrol how is the economy of distribution of petrol worldwide we know it is only through petrol tank petrol tanks on the road side so also economy of distribution of medicine it is only through dispensary dispensing so that is called dispensary what is dispensary dispensary dispense dispense medicine distribute only in the dispensary you can get it there are ration shops distributing economy of distributing rice or kerosene oil that is called ration shop now you understand now please understand remember this big tank like this huge tank or much greater than that tank containing the grace of salvation through the passion that and resurrection look at jesus on the cross when he was in through his passion death and resurrection what produced was a salvific grace salvific grace and that is stored in a tank which is infinite but how to reach to the people it is not enough to store it so jesus on the holy friday is going to fulfill the plan of his passion death and resurrection for the humanity by shedding his blood by offering his life and going to produce a grace and that grace will be stored in a infinite tank but how this must be distributed how this economy of distribution of this grace for that he instituted the sacrament and the priesthood so before he before he fulfilled the passover before that before he produced the salvation grace of the salvation he he invented instituted the distribution system of this salvific grace that is the priesthood that is the sacraments <laughs> is it easily understood now is it easily understood now and he himself after the passion death and resurrection he came to the apostles and said receive the holy spirit the holy spirit become a principal agent of this distribution receive the holy spirit 
whosoever sins you have forgiven is forgiven that is my lordship i give you that authority as a priest you are my priest i give you this authority whosoever sins you have forgiven in my name it is forgiven period go do this in memory of me so that is not simple memory that is exactly a reenactment of the passion death and resurrection a reenactment is happening in the liturgy a reenactment now now i will read from the teaching here the church was made manifest to the world on the day of pentecost by the outpouring of the holy spirit the gift of the spirit ushers in a new era see the word used here in the dispensation of the mystery <laughs> the dispensation of the mystery the mystery is not kept as a private matter oh this is very mystery this is for god no this is open for dispensing dispensing this word is very loving word dispense dispensation of the mystery at the age of the church during which now gives a very beautiful expression you must note it down christ manifests makes present and communicates his work of salvation through the liturgy of the church three things please write down christ manifests what is his manifestation passion death and resurrection is manifested reenacted in the liturgy manifest reenacted and makes present oh that is a great expression 